Hi, everybody. It's Dawn Bennett again with Touch Remedies, author of The Touch Crisis, coming with you with bonus video number three. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about tackling your mountain of wants, needs, and consent. So how do you know what you want, what you need, and how do you communicate that? And also, how do you ask others for consent? That's what chapter three is all about. Today, what I really want to do with you in the bonus video number two, we talked about that safe, nurturing self-touch. How do you give yourself self-hugs? How do you nurture yourself with your own physical contact? And today we're going to further explore your own pleasure around physical contact. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this exercise with inanimate objects. So you can grab just a few things that are near you. Um, I mean, you can grab something like your cell phone or your water bottle. Otherwise, feel free to pause this video and grab something soft, like a blanket or an item of clothing, um, maybe something warm, like right now I've got a salt stone. Um, you can grab something like part of a plant or um, a sculpture of some sort. And what we're going to do is we are going to sense not only the physical attributes of what it is that we're hanging on to and what we're touching, but seeing if we can gain pleasure just out of holding it in our hands. So how do we train our hands and our body to receive touch, not just give it? How do we train ourselves to receive, to nurture ourselves, even with such simple things around us? So for example, if I have this pillowcase, when I hold it and I go to make my bed, I'm not just going to be like, oh, okay, here's my pillowcase for my bed, but can I just take a moment to just say, oh, this pillowcase is so soft. How does it feel? How do I feel nurtured by holding on to it? Or how do I take this salt stone and hold it in my hand and feel that weight and just feel the comfort of the weight of a stone or even play with it a little bit? What does it feel like to experience those rough edges of the stone? Can I use it to maybe tickle my hand? What does it feel like on the back of my hand? What does it feel like on my face? Is it cold? Is it warm? What would I like it to be? What would make it even better for me? Stay playful with this. This is a really playful exercise just to see how your body responds to and feels, right? Because when we touch ourselves, we're getting it from two sides. But if we use something else, we can say, oh, Hmm, I don't really like that cold stone. I think I'm going to go in my here and grab, oh, grab this warmer one. And that feels, that feels more enjoyable to me, right? Or if I play with even the statue, what feels cool? Maybe I like the tickling of her little lamp. Or maybe I like the smoothness of the back of her gown. And what we're doing is really finding enjoyment and using our sense nerves waking up our hands to the possibility of enjoying the input of touch rather than just processing it. Because we're touching and feeling things all day long, right? We have our clothes on our body and maybe our shoes on our feet, whatever we're walking on, whatever we're sitting on. And our brain is consciously or subconsciously, excuse me, blocking out all of this extra input and all this extra data. But if we practice this exercise anywhere, we can really train ourselves to experience pleasure from the smallest amount of intentional safe touch. So now when we're sitting there with our phone, we can say, oh, wow, this new screen feels really nice. Or I really like how soft this is. Or maybe I used to love when I got new CDs. I'd take the CD case and I'd rub it on me. It's probably the oil and the grease on it or whatever from the plastic coating. But I used to love the feeling of a CD case on my cheek when it was brand new before it got all scratched up and roughed up from being thrown around my house and my car. So that's your tip for today. Because once you know what you want, what you need, you know, how hard do you want this stone to be pressing into you? How lightly? What wakes up your hands the best? What wakes up your arms the best? What wakes up your skin the best? How do you use those sensory nerves? Then you can communicate that to others. So when they give you that hug, when they put their hand on your shoulder in consolation or in support, you can communicate. What do you like? What don't you like? 
how can they change it to be a little more comfortable for you? Whether that means they move it to your forearm, whether that means they stop rubbing back and forth. I remember I used to have this habit when I held my husband's hand, I'd, I do this thing with my thumb where I rub back and forth and say, stop it, you're wearing a hole in my thumb, right? Because I was so unaware of it. So how he was really great at communicating how I could change that to make it better for him. So how can you do that with the people that you love and that you lead and that you're connected to? Thanks for listening. Once again, I'm Dawn Bennett, author of The Touch Crisis. We'll see you next time.